Hello, family. I wanted to share with you a beautiful part of a speech from my friend and amazing taiko drummer from Japan, Koji Nakamura. He and I collaborated for almost 17 years on music, and we made an album together, and I was so moved to hear a recent speech that he gave before returning back to Japan, which touched my heart of him describing how um, I had influenced him, and uh, the, the truth is is that I think he influenced me even more so, um, helping me learn about my traditional music of Japan. So I wanted to put this video up so that it could be remembered. Madi Sato, she was a singer-songwriter who lived in Santa Fe, New Mexico. She helped me open up my shoujo style in music to be more daijo style. Once in January of 2011, she asked me to join her recording session in Creston at the Zen Center, which was a neighbor of Shumei. There were several musicians, a producer, a technical person, and a photographer invited to the recording. We all got together for the first time on that day. We needed to get to know each other before getting started. I was very nervous because I had only focused on what I wanted to do for this project. However, it turned into an unforgettable experience because at the very beginning we had a group meditation inside giant geodistic dome and then formed a spontaneous music circle. You may ask, what is the spontaneous music circle? We just played together spontaneously for one hour. So there was no order, no rules, no teacher. While playing our own instruments, we listened to closely to everyone and considered how best to harmonize with each other. It was a great way to understand who we are and what we play. Also, we always ate together, enjoyed talking and laughing a lot. Eventually, I realized that the real collaboration should be not only musically, but also from heart to heart. To make a good team spirit, acceptance without judgment was the key. And finally, beautiful album emerged from this session. I am really grateful to Paul Winter and to Madi Sato for being the bridges to help me to overcome the cultural gap between East and West. I will share these experiences with young people in Japan, explaining the values of closing the gap between East and West through music.